Welcome back YouTube, my name is Twisted Phantom and uh, this is the third, I believe the third part to the custom story key to freedom. Uh, I left off after getting out of the door uh, from that crazy, scary uh, dining room area with the knights and all that kind of stuff, so uh, I ended up collecting the rope and the rope helped me to get down from the uh, staircase down into the basement and as I came down I ended up dropping the knife so now I don't have the knife anymore. So uh, let's see what I can do down here. To all employees of the Ashbury Manor wine cellar, as most of you know there are rumors of a strange unseen being roaming around the cellar. I would like to declare that these rumors are true. I understand that most if not all of you may no longer desire to work here. Please trust me when I say that there is nothing to fear. The being has and will cause no harm to anyone. It commonly opens and closes doors and on rare occasion it pushes over one or two barrels. Its footsteps have also been heard around the cellar. Please note that I brought this matter before Duke Harrington. He has ordered that work in the cellar continues as normal. We cannot let our wine production be slowed. Douglas Atkins Cellar Overseer Well, this should be fun. Oh, it's pitch black too and I don't have anything. To use for light source. Okay. I have a feeling something's gonna happen soon. It's not lit until this point. Oh, we just got deeper. Wow, this place is huge. Second November, eighteen seventy-eight. Since the passing of Duke Gregory Harrington the Fourth, several of the cellar workers have left. Many of them believe that there is no reason to continue working here, especially with that unseen being roaming around. I fear that I too may have to seek alternative employment. There are more pressing matters around Ashbury Manor as well that need attending to. There is talk of a ghost roaming the upper rooms of the manor, and many, including myself, believe that it is the ghost of the Duke. Hence, wine production is no longer a priority here. The health of Madame Lydia has not improved. Regardless, she seems to be the only one holding things together around here. Although, I think she may even tell us to abandon the wine production altogether. These are strange times for us here. Our future is uncertain. I must mention though, if it wasn't for Madame Lydia, heaven only knows what would become of this manor. Oh, okay. Whoa, what? I 
anything that's not going to do anything to me, is it? Where am I supposed to go? Can I get through here though? Oh. Oh. November 1878. Yesterday, Madame Lydia ordered the stoppage of wine production. The cellar will now be closed. It seems as though my concerns of unemployment have been realized. Most of the men spent yesterday packing things away. Only Harold and I are left now, finalizing the closure. I have a spare moment to write in here while I wait for Harold to fetch a pulley to aid us in our box stacking. Once that is completed, I will remain to check that everything is in order, and then lock up. He has been gone for an unusually long time now. I must make mention of the unseen being. While waiting for Harold, I decided to check on a few things in the kitchen. I noticed the being following me. That is something it has never done before. Even when I moved on to another room, it was still following me. I'm starting to grow uneasy about this being. I pray that once I have locked up, it does not follow me home. Well, great. Lighting up, so it must mean that that's to do something there. Can I move these barrels? I cannot move that though. Should go up, up here first. anything over there anyways. Hey, a hammer. Wait, what can I use the hammer for? I can see the valve there. Wait a sec. Oh, I see. I have to grab the hit that crowbar, whatever it is, out of there. And then use it to make sure that stays open. Let's grab this hammer, hit it. There we go. Crowbar. Next 
also have the hammer too. Yeah. that he was talking about. Okay, so... That's locked. Wait a sec. Locked it.
It's not her notes. I fear greatly for my life. It seems as though I have angered the unseen being here in the cellar. Earlier on, I went to go and look for Harold because he had not returned with the pulley. I was stopped at the staircase by the being. It was growling at me. Something else it had never done before. I tried to make a break for the staircase, but the being knocked me over. It then went into a frenzy and broke the supporting beam, causing the collapse of the entire staircase. In my hysteria, I ran to the engine room and locked myself in. And here I am, alone. My pen and paper are my only comfort. Perhaps that monster of a being will get tired of waiting and move on to the other parts of the cellar. I may then be able to get out through the back door. Hmm. This is a friendly note to the so-called operators of this machinery. This is the last time I will repair the gear levers as a result of your incompetence. Make sure when starting up the machinery, pull the levers in the right order and the position as noted in an electronic generator manual. On the chance that one of you still mess things up, which I am certain of, I have painstakingly installed a failsafe that will automatically shift the gears into their neutral positions if a mistake is to be made. And please make sure that there is enough coal in the furnace. Always check with Andy on the chance that you run low on coal. Asking the cook to use some of his is not the way to go about it. Robert King, Senior Mechanic. Okay, so first I have to make sure that there's enough coal. I think that's the only ones in here. Let's get more coal. Oh yeah, so somewhere inside here. Where is there more coal at? Oh, here we are. What was that?
There we go. Shut and turn on. Okay. It's gotta be up. Yes, we got the generator working. This elevator should be working now. Okay.
Okay, he's over there. Wait, can I break the... Hmm. Must have to find another way out. Whoa, great. Wait, that wasn't moved like that before. Oh crap, no, I have to run away from that. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Take right behind me. Ah! Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Close it! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh jeez. Ah. Man, I don't know what it is about that, but Off we go. Time's up, and I uh, guess this ends up in a good spot to leave off, so now it's just uh, going through this new area and exploring it, and hopefully being able to find the key here. Uh, other than that, that was uh, wicked scary, having to run from that uh, water monster, because, I don't know, just that idea that that you can't see them, but yet you can hear them just splashing behind you, and it, it seems like they're getting closer and closer, and you're like just having to run and you're trying to figure out as you're going you know which way you have to go and what obstacles you're gonna have to dodge so uh yeah come back to the next video uh if you look down on the bottom uh subscribe and you can get some updates on my newer videos uh, i've been doing some other videos of uh games like vanish and vapor and stuff like that vapors will be uploaded uh shortly also with this video so uh catch me in the next video and i will see you then bye